Hello, beautiful souls. How are you doing? It's a blazing time, is it not? And I do mean the solar energy and I do mean the heat and I do mean the temperature of our culture. Everything's really hot right now. So today's video is just a video recap of episode 12 on Truth Resonates podcast. So this episode um, had a lot of first contact, and a lot of um, transmissions that came from beings that we had not encountered uh, prior to this, this time frame. The time frame is um, January 2024, middle to end, and a little bit into the beginning of February 2024. And um, it has, it leads us, like all, to another mission. So let's get into it. So we had first contact with some galactic emissaries, some star seeds, and some um, other worldly leaders. And they provided us with um, gratitude. They gave us some insight on things that we kind of had an intuitive um, nudge about, but we had no way to confirm up until that time. And after we had worked for so many months to clear um, all things Hunamatea, so that's all levels, all um, inner earth, middle earth, surface, and then we moved outwardly as well throughout the galaxy, throughout our own universe, and then our energy powered the intentions carried through to other universes. And so it became um very big <laughs> in a very positive way but very big so we started to receive these contacts we started to receive these um leaders ascendant masters archangels and planetary and galactic emissaries started to come through many of these transmissions came through aurelia and just to clarify again um we take a lot of safety precautions whenever we are connecting to um any other being and so we have gatekeepers and our gatekeepers are ascendant masters and they make sure that the intentions of the contact are benevolent and that we have permission from Mother Sophia to speak to them. So no one really gets through the gate to then connect with us without passing that first screen. Now, there's some that have um, on rare occasions, I would say, have cloaked or duped and get through but then we detect them um because we do go through our safeguards and we don't take it for granted so that's another another thing i want to touch on i've had some um people that really do live in fear they live in fear of what um dogma and indoctrination has taught them and that is very hypocritical if you are truly of a true heart and, and spirit that want to connect in a benevolent way to other beings, whether it be your grandmother or Yeshua or source creator, they are all not in human form any longer. They are transitioned to their energy body and may or may not be in a different realm, a different dimension whatever the case may be. Some of them are back on ships because that's where they came from. Some of them are in the fifth dimension awaiting our arrival there. And so to limit your ability, to limit your permission to contact or be contacted because someone has transitioned, AKA died, then you're truly being very hypocritical in your energy. So you go to church and you do all the prayers and you want to connect with Jesus and the angels. And you, then whenever the connection happens, you immediately get slapped with fear, shame, blame, guilt, all the things that the church tells you is not okay to be involved with because it has to be evil because it doesn't come through them. You see, they want to censor the message. They don't want you to be the ones that receive the transmissions of truth. So I just want you to sit with that. If you're conflicted 
over first contact because first contact is happening globally. I want you to understand that there are many, many benevolent beings that have been with you your entire life and they are just waiting for you to get over the fear and allow for contact and contact is truly loving. It's nurture, nurturing, it's compassionate. Sometimes it's very funny. And beyond that, um, it's what you really wanted. It's what your soul is asking for and your mind, your egoic mind and the manipulated mind, um, from the indoctrination, from the fear mongering, from the quote unquote book, all that's man-made. It's all made up to keep the control away from you. We all have the abilities to do this and it is your birthright to connect with your soul family. So don't judge. Instead, sit with it and realize that fear is nothing to be afraid of. Fear is false evidence appearing real. And it all comes from man-made obstacles and hurdles put in your way to keep you from realizing your power and your position in this grand universe that we live in. So again, credit to Aurelia because she received these clairaudient and clairvoyant transmissions and that I'm about to share with you. I am Esmeralda of Inner Earth. Our people once lived in the kingdom of Mu. When things started to take a dark turn, your and my family entrusted us the most ancient artifacts, historical records, and treasures. We have honored our loyalty and protection <clears throat> bestowed upon us to protect these. We ask for nothing in return. You five, the guardians, have earned the respect, loyalty, dedication from beings and realms across the galaxy, universe, timelines, multiverse, and dimensions. Esmeralda is now bowing. It is an honor to serve and be of service to the guardians. All guardians are now given an emerald ring infused with inner earth, old world power, and magic. So I'm going to stop there. The The ring ha is very deep, deep emerald green. And it's in a gold cabochon setting. And um, it's just immediately there on, on us. It's just immediately there. And the, the, the energy in the stone and the energy coming from the inner earth realm but through esmeralda is very loving and um, palpable gratitude and of course made us very emotional when we heard that because our intentions have always been to do what we do through guidance of source creator but for the greater good to liberate humanity to liberate our world to be the change and we do it one eleven on the clock we do it because it's the right thing to do for the greater good of all. But then, you know, there, there's something to that, to have that closed loop communication where the beings that you intuitively knew you'd help, but you weren't sure how or how it would, would be received, come back and say, thank you so much. And we're here for you. And it's just, it's beautiful. There's truly, to me, not a downside. The next transmission comes from Archangel Raphael and Archangel Raphael, if you're um, not aware, um, Archangel Raphael is always with me. He's one of my archangels and he's my soul mother's uh, twin and my soul mother's name is Raphael. And they do a lot of that, like very similar names, only off by one letter. Um, but anyway, he's super special to me. Guardians, today you five will start to unravel the history of your true family, heritage, and the true world history. I have been entrusted to give you pertinent information of from the Library of Alexandria. The true history of Lemuria and Atlantis were recorded and kept in the Library of Alexandria, and everything was saved or copied before Alexandria was destroyed. Guardians, you are now entrusted with everything 
from these libraries, but now you should rest. You all must keep expanding your heart chakra. And at this time, Archangel Raphael bows to the guardians. The next transmission comes from Krishna and Krishna is the same soul being as Poseidon and King Solomon and Genghis Khan. So um, he's very old, very powerful. And on a soul level, that being is one of my best friends. We've incarnated in lives uh, many, many times together. And as of right now, there's not a human that possesses his energy. His energy is actually within me. Krishna. Guardians tonight and into tomorrow, the energies and the green event will peak late night into early morning. This peak will be felt and will be intense. You're asked to rest, hydrate, be, and flow. There are dolphins with him. It's an honor to fight beside great warriors. We are in service to the guardians. Please accept our gift of gratitude. He and the dolphins all bow. He hands us all sapphire bracelets for energy. We are then told all of our garments we wear in any official capacity are woven with gold and silver and our own unique symbols. So each guardian has a symbol that um, denotes all of their things and all of their work. It's their own signature symbol. Okay. The next contact is Amphitrite, the goddess of the sea. You five have the support, blessings, and assistance of all the creatures of the waters, the dolphins, the whales, the mer people. We will all gather and lead others as needed. Some of you fear large or open water. That was me. We encourage you to let it go. Make a conscious connection to the water and all the beings that live within the water. She now bestows pearl strands to wear draped from crown down to the torso. So these kind of loop like a crown here. And then it draped down over our front and back um, pearls. And I, I raised my hand because, um, so growing up in this life as a human, I, I was a competitive swimmer for a long time. And so I was very comfortable in pools of water, but less comfortable in open water. And I never really knew why. And then uh, in my early adult years, I, I went on a couple cruises and doing some excursions and being out in the wide open blue water, I kind of had a little bit of an anxiety attack and I didn't know why. And I now know it's because some of my live streams ended because I was drowned um, and strapped to um, the hull of ships um, for being uh, witches, you know, which is basically what anyone who didn't understand um, Claire abilities would label us as whether we were doing good for anyone or not. It didn't matter. So I have worked on that. <laughs> Thank you, Amphitrite. And this came from Source Creator. You are royalty. This is only the beginning. Wear it well as you already do. And then Archangel Metatron, we didn't have a full appreciation of his role in our family at this time, um, but we now know that he's our sole grandfather, Poppy. Um, so Archangel Metatron, lots of gold and white is seen. The angels are warming up their trumpets. God's blessings are upon you and your loved ones. There are trials coming to traverse, but those are not for you. You continue to have the steadfast support of all the archangels and the angels. And Aurelia saw, as far as the eye could see, all the archangels and angels kneeled with their hands across their chest. And they say, we are your escorts as well as your protectors. Kneeling as far as the eye can see, we honor you. Soon the guardians will be asked to come to a portal, not physically, but consciously, via intent, 
like Lowell Johnson's image. So I had a chat with Lowell. Um, Lowell was introduced to my knowledge um, via Sherry Divban. Lowell um, was invited and had the frequency match to enter um, inner earth through Shasta and the Sedona area. And he was given um, the gifts to create beautiful digital imagery of things that he saw there. And he shares them. And there was an image that came up that we all resonated with um, very clearly as a portal that we visited. And um, I will link that image. Um, it, it'll be a, the, one of the last slides of this video. I definitely want to give credit to Lowell. Uh, his, his imagery has been very beautiful and has given us a lot of resonance and opened up downloads for us. And we have recognized things that we ourselves didn't have the abilities to put into imagery like he did. So thank you, Lowell. And he says it was given to me to share. And so um, his gracious heart is very welcomed. Um, guardians, continue to follow the nudges and downloads. Yes, there are many layers to the depths of planned opp opposition on your beings. This is all the effects, the darkness overall greatly and continue to shift the power. So the, sh the power shifts were occurring um, as a result of many actions being, being taken place, but also the actions that we took against them. And as their power is stripped away and as their usual method of operation has been disrupted, of course, they trace the energy signatures back to those responsible and they attack, which is not unexpected. So um, as all this plays out, of course, we get more and more downloads, we get more and more insight and, um, you know, our benevolent connections and our families help us in many, many ways. So um, we may have absolutely no knowledge of something ahead of time. And then an attack occurs and we get the downloads of the information that we need to help counter the attack. So Throughout Earth and the galaxy, in the side of light, the light wins every single time. My message to you all is to continue to be in the very best capacity and let all of your beings working with you come to you so that you know very well what is before you. The combined efforts toward the common goal without a lot of scripting is what's throwing the dark ones off because they don't get to see the plan. As you know, consider all messages not private under tel unless telepathic and protected. I'm going to pause here. This message is from source creator. There's some also some input from mission control. Um, it doesn't matter how you communicate. If you verbalize it, if you put it in text, if you put it in type, um, if it, is born of any type of energy, it can be detected. So um, some of my most successful campaigns as far as um, uh, battling, I have never spoken a word of it. It has all been telepathic and it has all been um, developed and delivered without speaking a word or saying it anywhere because they can spy and they do spy and so that's what is meant by that back to source the power to affect change is a superpower of the guardians you demonstrate this time and again keep this focus as it is very effective then i had a message from adolphus and to remind you adolphus is my brother my soul brother who is the walk-in soul of JFK Sr. <clears throat> Adolphus, this is me channel writing with him. What do you want me to know? Great song. I was listening to Boston for a play at the time. We will work together for video content once you are at Anna's home. This will be recorded, but not posted until we give you the green light. You're all much more protected at this time than last week due to your missions. The timeline of events is lining up well and speeding up all timelines 
with the usual problems removed now. Stay in tuned and looking for dots to connect. Once all this transpires, your information will be broadcast in all languages around the world. Your content is golden. Have a good time, rest, and drive safe tomorrow. I was in process of leaving one location and um, basically traveling across country. And so it took me uh, it took me a little while. And so that, that's what he was referring to. And um, so Grandpa Ken is St. Germain, the same soul as St. Germain. And there was a lot of information that was being given to me for the Founding Fathers series. And um, of course, the first one I wanted to do was JFK. And I didn't have permission. Um, no one was ready for that yet. One, two, three on the clock. So I, I was just waiting for permission. And so he's telling me in that message that he's going to give me the content, but I didn't have permission to um, post the video live yet. And so um, I was just getting it, you know, bit by bit. But it did come out and we were given some of that from JFK senior Adolphus and um, he then he switched gears and he started get, giving us a couple of songs. This is all the same night. He gave us some songs and he told us to decipher the meaning. And we did. And the meanings of the songs were basically freedom and success. And then we started to download something dark, something ominous. Um, so like the dark crystal, which was our sister Estriella. Aurelia had had a large soul fractal that had been trapped in a large crystal and held beneath the water near Inverness, Scotland. And the the music clues that we were given gave us, like led us to that. So this next piece I'm going to give you is um, myself, Lucy, Aurelia and Aurora discussing the downloads coming in. <clears throat> Aurelia sees being held down by chains deep in water, nasty creatures protecting, aka guarding me. We, all the guardians, are held captive as in our soul fractals, but Aurelia's is held down the deepest. Aurora. This is from Esmeralda. Aurelia, take a breather if needed. What you, Aurelia, are feeling is a past life and current status of some soul fractals. Leah's crystal is being held in a gold aquamarine um, crystal. Lucy will have access to use Poseidon's trident. Anna and Akita, you will have special weapons given and granted to you by Source and the Archangels. Aurelia and Aurora, your weapons will be gifted by Mother Sophia. Mother Gaia Hunamatea. Aurelia, I have very little strength. I'm shining my dim light. Water dragons can find me, though, as well as the mer people. Too many spells to count are within me. Lucy, we got it, sis. Trust and breathe. Leah, water is almost black here, where he thought I would never be found. Please rescue me. Save me. Lucy, we're on our way. Leah, it hurts so much. Oh, my God. I remember this night and it. she felt sick. She felt physically ill with these visions and the, and the emotions coming through her clairsentient. And we all felt a measure of that. Hers was the, a very, very large soul fractal. So she felt it more. The five guardians at the time, Akita, Aurora, Anna, Andalusia, and Aurelia, executed a rescue mission to free our soul fractals from this underwater um, prison. <clears throat> and we were all healed by the archangels. They met us there, as well as the Mer people, as well as these, these beings that had literally just contacted us immediately were called into service to assist us and were immediately there. That then led us to the guardian souls 
having trapped soul fractals in crystals in other locations. So we saw, we detected that we were also being held in the Bermuda Triangle, in the Mediterranean area, and Barcelona, Spain, and used for darkness, right? Used, the power was being harnessed and used for darkness, which is their MO. It all has always been their MO. So we found, rescued, clear, cleansed, and destroyed the evil holding us in all those other locations. We freed uh, thousands of other light beings that had been held and tortured the same as, as we were in all those other locations as well. So this was all originally carried out by Vlad Tepes, whom we had vaporized two days prior. So the hold that his power had on all of us and that information was released. And that's how we were able to then detect it. So once his energy was transformed and transmuted, the hold over those souls was released and could be detected. And we were able to rescue ourselves and other people, other energy bodies, fractals of their soul. This mission cleared the surrounding waterways, mountains, beaches, all the cities, the air, and the areas it, that we worked in that we were released from immediately started to receive source light. This dark, heavy fog denseness lifted and is already brighter, higher frequency and lighter. So this is very typical like we're kind of cruising along getting our downloads having our beautiful transmissions and contacts with emissaries and ascendant masters and then bam here comes a download of some shit we gotta take care of and that's exactly how it happens and that's that's exactly how we work through it source creator what do you want me to know this was a channel writing transmission i received the mission last night to rescue Leah Soul Fractal from a very long, dark torture took us all by surprise. Not that we didn't know, but we thought there would be more time needed <clears throat> on the part of the Guardians to plan and execute the attack to, and to rescue. This is huge in healing of the souls, humans, the earth, the water, the mountains, the air, that evil has had those areas locked down for thousands and thousands of years. And I know it was hard. Once that was finished, you took a short respite at one of the Scotland castles that belongs to the family, was given gifts and gratitude, but Lucy and Akita couldn't stop. They looked at each other and said, let's go free the rest of the souls now. Lucy, Akita, and Aurora soul fractals all released from all the dark places, cleared, cleansed, the evil vanquished, and you all receiving deeper healing on the wounded, weak fractals. So this all transpired over a period of a couple of hours, and the shift in energy was immediately felt. Thousands more souls found and released in all locations, Bermuda Triangle, Barcelona, and the Mediterranean Sea. These geographical areas are clearer, full of light, and benefiting again from source light and the power of goodness, which had been locked out for thousands of years. The little people are pygmy tribals who were greatly affected near Bermuda and the Mediterranean. With all the activity taking place, it was decided to let the night pass without any other actions. Please rest and recharge. Mission Control. When you all decide to go get a sibling, justice is delivered with precision, lethal force, and it's all at 100%. Once Leah was rescued, we felt the urge to finish the other missions as soon as possible. And why wait? You all have waited long enough. With that on hold, your extractions were given a hold. It has now been lifted as you did a great job, but we do want you to rest your avatars now. This day has already been very active energetically and expect more outbursts from those struggling. We will send more transmissions later. And this is from Mira, our sister with the Pleiadian High Council working on the Earth Council. Mira, yes, beautiful warriors. We were not wanting to chance interrupting the rescues that were long overdue. We are checking all permissions for destinations and travels and more potential for community <clears throat> working events we will select the best window of time to extract you communicate like yesterday in thought telepathy same with anna today 
her team will do all the same checks and planning take care for now. So let me explain that. At this particular time, January 2024, there was a lot of upheaval and there was a lot of attacks and the attacks were getting um, a bit much to say the least. And so there has always been a an overwatch for us. But the overwatch was getting put into higher gear because they felt like they would have to pull us out. They thought they would have to pull us out um, to provide the level of protection that we needed. And so that's what that verbiage was about as far as putting things on hold and then opening up um, different permissions. And those plans are still in place right now, but um, obviously we're still here. Now this came from Adolphus. Hello, Lucy. We have a lot to cover. I've decided to do the next episode of Founding Fathers President's video, and it will be explosive, but the timing is good. Prior to our disclosure with Alex, Alexander, he means, which is our sibling's brother, the walking soul with Donald John Trump. For now, just stay safe, rest, and focus on arriving to your next destination safely. We will do all this when you're safe. As long as timing is still good and you're truly safe, meaning for real safe. <laughs> and he really gives this, um, they, we call them the boys. It's a set of quads that are the walking souls that are with some very important beings. And they are very uh, big brotherly and they are right there in a second whenever we need them. And, um, and that's the tone, that's the energy that that I feel um, in this message from him and very loving, but protective. Okay. This is from source creator. We are relieved. You feel better. This is after a very, very long drive and lots of weather and all sorts of stuff. The energy disconnect and distance from where you were before has helped you greatly. Let all that go. LFG love, forgiveness, and gratitude. Wonderful days are ahead for you and Anna doing what you all do so well. Stay safe, take breaks, self-care is a must. And then Father Yogananda. Your well-being must be your priority. You always think of others first, and that's not bad, but you have to refrain from always thinking of yourself last. The issues of the past, while unsettling, must be let go. Source and Mother Sophia will handle all of them. Your light, your life, and your legacy is so bright. Protect it and protect yourself. I'm glad you're having a better day and on it is too. There are no coincidences there. Source creator. I don't think you and Honor realize yet, but the energy and vibration spread out from you to very bright and powerful souls coming together in physical location has been huge. There's a sense of source light beaming bright from you too. This is spreading a sense of calm and confidence to those who are connected and a sense of prophecy fulfilled for the divine and the galactics watching. Rest up and do your envisionaries before sleep. So we had started to um, set our intentions and do some very specific visions in order to um, make the most of our dream space. And if you're not aware of the fact that you can do a lot of work for a lot of good, whenever you lay your head on the pillow, I do have a video about that. Um, and I will link it in the description of this video. It's, it's a wonderful way to really affect a lot of change while you're resting your avatar. You don't want to um, waste the time that you actually have. You can work in your dream space and get a lot done. Mission control. We are very relieved you made it safely and your protections are doubled now. The big energy you project is awesome and we will act in a split second if this attractiveness of you two entices some beings to act out. Have fun tomorrow, spreading your beautiful energy and light, rest, hydrate, and meditate. So we're always being guided back to the basics, right? Grounding, resting, hydrating. And some people may not understand the benefits of that. And I'll let you know when we rest, when you rest your body, you're receiving downloads and you're receiving upgrades that you may find uncomfortable, or it may give you dizziness or nausea or something if you're awake. 
So they tend to wait for you to sleep and rest your avatar during those times. Grounding um, is really important to connect and center and ground your energy. So you're receiving in all this activation codes and the energy is kind of um, spinning through your vortex and you want to ground it and center it so that it does the most good without you feeling completely frazzled. This is super important for those of the Fey realm because you're already very excitable, right? And um, many, many times the feeling of that energy coming through is misconstrued as anxiety or nervousness or fear. And that's because it's been manipulated to for, for you to believe that from the controllers that kept you very out of your power that way. But when you ground and you ask for clarity and you really focus that energy, you're super, super powerful and you can be very methodical at the same time in what you do. So um, the hydration piece helps us in the DNA activation of the light codes to um, transform that carbon to crystalline DNA. And it helps you really, really rebound from the energies that come in. So the less ascension symptoms you're having, the more you're doing those three things right. So if you're having a ton of dizziness, a ton of um, nausea, and you feel very frazzled and disconnected, you definitely need to ground, hydrate, meditate, and take some salt baths. Okay, source creator. We, Mother Sophia and I, are full of love, gratitude, relief for you and Anna. Watching your amplified frequency work magic and miracles today, the areas you visited were completely locked up until your huge light blasted through. Yes, you both were blissfully unaware of how much power and energy you use today, but this comes back to thinking of yourselves last again. Work on considering yourself sooner. Nothing is keeping you in terms of work to be done that we are aware of at this now moment. Other events will trigger your pickup. Keep doing what you're doing until then. And that is the end of those transmissions. So it's kind of a snippet, you know, into a, a moment in time in the Guardians as we are literally navigating moment by moment based on information given to us and downloads and things that we, we feel independent of each other, but also collaboratively. And, you know, I guess in, unless you really experience it, it probably is a little hard to explain, but this is why I say like one day, one 24 hour day really feels like three or four days to me because we get so much done in so many different realms and capacities that the the constructs of time and days and and weeks here it really just does, doesn't have the same meaning so um yeah we were able to er, everywhere that we feel drawn to um connect for clearing and cleansing it leads us to releasing more soul fractals and and it's we don't just release ourselves we release everything that needs to be released. And so um, we just had a road trip. And on that road trip, it was three sisters together. And it was actually uh, five total family members, but three really powerful sisters. And we detected so many more ways that soul fractals had been harnessed and used over time. And we released numbers that our brains can't even really fathom. And the archangels are just working overtime to heal all these souls that have been trapped for so long. And um, I just want you to know that we are always endeavor to help the greater good of humanity, of the entire planet. It is not about us specifically. It is not about me. It is about the mission that I agreed to on a soul level a very, very long time ago and have seen it through life stream after life stream after life stream. So I, I do invite you to receive this information with a very open heart and understand that, that you too probably have had soul fractals that we have released. And in that doing that, that soul fractal can be healed to come back to you, to your energy essence, to create that more whole self. Whenever we do healings, when I do a QAT session, I pull back 
soul fractals that have been stolen from you. And I pull them back. But if I don't know that they're trapped somewhere, they those are the ones that kind of get left behind and we have to pull them back later. And so it's a journey. It's a journey. It's not a checklist. It creates another level of shadow work sometimes that we have to go through. And so if, if you feel like you're like always doing shadow work, it's usually because you're really evolving and you're letting go of the constraints of humanity and you're embracing the openness of the interdimensional beings that we truly are. We are none of us with a soul. None of us were ever originated in form and just die in form. That's none of us have only had one, one existence, one life that is very small minded thinking. And we are much bigger than that and much more powerful than that. So stay tuned. Next time will be the video recap of episode 13 and truth resonates podcast from ever drops every Friday morning at 6am. Although Archangel Metatron had me take a bit of a summer schedule for August. And so it's going to be every other Friday. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again next time. Take care.